think I'm gonna play some No More Heroes. Hello everyone, we are live with some No More Heroes. <laughs> wow, I forgot to change my change out my controllers. Oh well, it's not a big deal. I imagine. Marvelous. Yeah, what should I play tonight? I've um, been playing a lot of stuff. Oh, 3D All-Stars for sure. I gotta get through that, but um, I might as well start with this. Some good old No More Heroes. Ah, Alright. So we are rank number 8. Let's go get some Shinobu. Let's go get Destroy Man. This is Diane from the Ted Videos. Just calling to let me know that one of the videos we turned yesterday wasn't one of ours. It doesn't have a label on it, but it seems to be a recording of a guy humping a pillow. Uh. The video you should have returned was um, How to Please a Woman in Bed 101 Part 2. Oh. Uh. Please return it to us soon. Thank you. <laughs> oh, no. Travis. Congratulations, Mr. Touchdown. Your registration for the 8th UAA rank is now complete. In addition, we have faxed you some information about the rankings in case you wish to continue your assess. Please transfer the money into the designated account. Have a nice day. All right, here we go. The UAA wishes to inform you that the entry free for your next ranked fight is as follows. Rank 7, 250,000 LBs. Ugh. <coughs> 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 LBs are just ridiculous. Like, what what the fuck is an LB dollar? Like, how does that translate to um, to American dollars? Like, is it is it like yen? Does it seem like a lot more than it actually is? Because I was a... I was watching Epo the other day, and like it came up in the comment section about how like uh, how the prize fight money isn't all that much. Oh wait, hang on, shit. Like the uh, the fights in Epo, these guys are getting the crap beat out of them for like nothing. <laughs> these guys are like getting brain damage, concussed, have all these like health problems for like twenty three bucks. A fight it's it's ridiculous like, I have no idea how they do it um, I have no idea how anyone does that it's weird I I guess like living ugh. I guess in the 80s it was easier to do that but we'll oof. yeah I don't know I don't know what the deal with that was <laughs> like uh, I've been uh, wa I uh, watched a little bit of Epo yesterday well this morning, and it was uh, fantastic. Like, I am legit, like, hyped to see, like, uh, more of Season 2. I have not that mastered the secret of the first class. I love this guy so much. Uh, let me see here. Clean up, Santa, destroy. Pick up as much garbage as you can within the, t as you can within the time limit. Okay. Um, a thousand LBs for each piece of dot garbage. So if I get 250 of these things, I can uh, go on to Detroit Man. <laughs> so Epo is great. Uh, hopefully I'll be able to get through it relatively quickly. I'm a, I'm a big fan. I got through season one uh, all right. Like I think I just need to like commit to like watching something. Like my my problem is that like I don't what the fuck. That's never happened in the Wii version. Yeah, I, I I'm told. This version of the game actually has a bunch of glitches, so I I imagine I, I'm pretty comfortable in saying the Wii version is technically better than this. This is perfectly serviceable serviceable if you uh, never played the games before, but I would say that like yeah, you don't need to buy these ports if you own the game already. Uh, I did it because I want to su support Suda Fifty One. I want to support like No More Heroes Three. I wanna I want to like emphasize just how great these games are to my audience. But, um, I don't think it was ne it's necessary if you already own the console. Like, if you already own the games, like, you don't, you don't need to buy this. It's not, it's not, they didn't significantly change anything. It's, there's no significant improvements. Um, it, it's just the same game. But the, the game was a classic, so, is a classic. Remnant of our lives. Each piece of garbage is a lost soul. <laughs> so what better way to spend your life? Saving lost souls. A true garbage man can bring priests to the dead. It's taking me 12 years to realize this truth. 
You've got potential. A soul that can talk with garbage. The god of garbage will be watching. Go save that garbage. I love how this guy, like, makes everything sound like the most important thing in the world. I have noticed that jobs I've worked, I have tried to, uh, to sell you on this idea that, uh, they're very grand and important when they're really, really not. Uh... Yeah, I'm very anxious to get out of the workforce. I, I, uh, I've been um, saying that for a while. That like, <laughs> yeah, I need to like make most of my money. Oof. Huh. Um. Easy. Easy. I don't know. It just gives you so much security to work. You know what I mean? Like, that, that's the main reason I'm still doing it, is that, like, I kind of feel like it's uh, the right thing to do, in spite of the fact that, like, yeah, I don't really want to do it. There's no real point for me to do it, but uh, it's kind of like this game. You don't need to play this game, but you kind of have to in order to do what you want to do. Like, it's just... Uh. <laughs> it just goes to show you the deep societal uh, commentary that No More, Hero provi no More Heroes provides. All right. Uh, This is a super underrated track, by the way. I, I really like I really like it. Um, the entire soundtrack is golden. Like, there's so much about this this game that like kind of goes under the radar. Like, uh, a while ago, I saw a YouTube video that was like praising the uh, the visual design, which I've never really thought about. Like, the characters, I just kind of took for granted that they looked awesome. But like, uh, apparently, there's lots of really fun details that like I never really picked up on. Like, uh, Shinobu has like an has like a cell phone ornament on her sword or some shit. So like, so she decorates her weapon like it, like she's a teenage girl with her phone. It's just really like charming stuff. Um, Easy. Yeah, this game has held up really, really well, and I I think like um, it's selling really, really well too. It's uh, I believe it's. Uh, Selling third on the eShop right now. So, like, it's just behind Pikmin 3, and it's just behind Hades. Uh, it actually is outselling Super Mario 3D All-Stars right now. Oh, speaking about selling things, um, Fire Emblem Three Houses is officially the best-selling Fire Emblem game. It's uh, five million, uh, 3 million units sold. And uh, it see there seems to be a trend here. It seems, to be it seems to me that, like, Fire Emblem is selling more and more with each passing year. Each passing release, it's selling more and more. It's only going to be a matter of time until it outdoes Persona. Like, I cannot wait until that happens. So once we crack, like, the 5 million figure, which I think is very, very doable in the next uh, decade or so, like, uh, Persona is going to be fucked. And it's going to be entirely because they didn't release games on Nintendo consoles. It is going to be glorious. Um... Because, of course, there's a lot of overlap between, like, the Fire Emblem audience and the Persona audience. But, like, Fire Emblem is just going to get more games more frequently and continue to improve. While uh, Persona basically rehashes old material constantly. Like, you're going to see... Like, people are asking about, like, the spinoff for that game. We already got our Fire Emblem Warriors spinoff, but Persona 5 still needs to get theirs. Um, meanwhile, we're, ta we're thinking about the next Fire Emblem. Like, Three Houses came out, like, what, last year? Huge, huge hit. Um, we could probably expect a new one um, two years from now, right? It's probably uh, it's probably already in development. I'm sure it's going to reuse, like, the Three Houses engine. I would... I'm not sure if a... I'm not sure if a prequel for Three Houses would work. Um, I mean, the lore for Three Houses is really, really well done. So I, I think it's perfectly doable, but, like... I don't know, it feels like Three Houses is pretty complete, honestly. Like, if anything, they should have, like, I, I legit think they should have just cut out a lot of content from Three Houses, because, like, a lot of it's very rehashy. Like, I love Three Houses to death, but I didn't really feel the need to, like, play through every route. Like, I think, I think like, um, the church and Golden Root, uh, Golden Deer Root should have been uh, merged into one, 
Because, like, neither of them have really a whole lot of interesting things going on. Uh, Black Eagles should have been in better. Like, th there's so much they could have done to make it better. But, uh... Like, that, that game is so grindy. Like, I love that game. I love that game, but it just goes on too long. I think it's still one of my most played, uh... I think it's still one of my most my most played games. Yeah, Dragon Ball Fighter Z is getting up there. Uh, yeah, Dragon Quest, Bayonetta. Yeah, see, like, it's so long, it's one of my most played games on Nintendo Switch. It's a single-player game that almost outdid Splatoon 2. Like, I think Dragon Ball Fighter Z is going to go up there to uh, probably... I could see it outdoing Persona 5, uh, Disgaea 5 eventually. Uh... What? Oh, yeah, I am definitely switching the Joy-Cons. This combat... Okay, this is just ridiculous. Wait, how... Yeah, we are switching the Joy-Cons. This is... Uh, this is awful. Combat with the controller is awful. So one of the great things about uh, the Nintendo Switch is that, like, because of the way it's made, it, it's going to be really easy for games like No More Heroes that were made exclusively for the Wii to get pretty high-quality ports. Like, they're not going to be port perfect uh, because of uh, things like the microphone and things like that. Oops, hang on. But, like, they're still pretty solid. Uh, Super Mario Galaxy actually plays way better than Sunshine does because because the control just, uh, is just so much better. It's just so much better suited to, to Galaxy. Like, the thing I can't get over when it comes to Galaxy is the... Uh, what was it with Galaxy? Uh, oh, shit. Our number of kills, seven? Oh, that's hilarious. Uh, I don't think I'm going to win this. Oh, wait. Oh, shit. Yeah, this is a... Yeah, I kept killing these guys, forgetting this was supposed to be an assassination mission. What was I thinking? Uh, well, why was I timed? Like, who was keeping track of how long it takes me to kill this guy? Well, anyway. Um... Yeah, I get to talking about things and just, like, get lost in the moment and don't really realize that, like, wait, there's uh, something very specific I need to be doing. I was so worried about the controller, I completely forgot about the guy I needed to kill. All right. Um, so the the, uh, the motion controls for this work great. Like for Galaxy, I think it has this problem where like the cursor doesn't work the way it should. Because uh, I think um, the Joy-Con wasn't made to um, the way the Wii Remote was with like the pointer system and things like that. Like. Uh, it's a little bit different, and as a result, like, Galaxy feels kind of off. Like, that's my big complaint about, like, um, All-Stars right now. Like, everything feels a little bit off. Like, I complained about, like, uh, the original All-Stars feeling kind of off from the originals, and it feels like, uh... And it feels like, uh, 3D All-Stars is the same way. Like, they're okay ports, but they're not, like, the best or anything like that. Oh, hang on, there. I should probably just kill him. I love these games so much. They're so satisfying. Right, here we go. Bam! Got him. Bronze. Oh, come on. Yeah, I need. I need to level up and get more stuff. Um, upgrade my equipment. I, I don't think there's anything new there yet, though. Uh, shit, we gotta do that again. Uh, well, we might as well work out and do some stuff before we uh, fight Destroy Man. I, I don't like challenging the bosses in this game without, like, everything. So I do legit, like, uh, go around collecting everything that there is to get in the game. Well, everything everything you can get that uh, improves your abilities. Because there is some stuff you can get that uh, is kind of pointless. So 
So yeah, uh, Wii ports on Switch seem to be pretty solid. Uh, motion controls are here to stay, uh, for sure. Like, this is a pretty good port. I'm, I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, all things considering, like, of course, I wasn't going to be 100% happy to it, uh, with it, because I am a purist. I, I, I do prefer the original, but um, it's not a bad port at all. Oh, whoops. Should I go see Naomi and see how that, um, see if she has anything for me? So Naomi and Thunder Ryu, we'll, we'll have to see how this goes. I've gotten so used to this town, like, I just know where everything is. Ah, it's you again. Suddenly a drink? Nah. That, yeah, buy it. Let's see, yeah, the peep katanas are really expensive. I think, I think that's the main reason I had a... I wonder what Naomi's role in 3 will be. She built that giant robot for Travis, so... Uh... Beefhead videos. What does Beefhead do? They have some stuff. Um, I think they have videos and stuff. Oh, you can learn new wrestling moves from them. Yeah. I don't think I went there in my, at all in my last playthrough. Uh, I completely forgot, so maybe I should stop by. Uh, and see what they have. Let's see here. This game must be really boring to watch people stream because, like, there's so much, we're, there's so much repetitiveness. I mean, it's so fun and charming; it never feels boring. But this was always kind of a flawed gem. It's kind of interesting. This is one of my all-time favorite games, but in spite of all of its technical problems, but... you know what? There's more. Uh, there's more to a game than being like um, ideal. You know what I mean? Like sometimes a game can be more than what you uh, would expect, despite being uh, less. Oops. It's sort of like how people will tell you Sonic the Hedgehog is a video game icon, because, like, people like CWC exist, like, it's not, it's not true. Uh, you know what, you know what, if Sonic wasn't in Smash Bros, I don't think uh, people would remember Sonic as a video game character at all. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll be talking about that shortly. Um, it came up today. Oh, yeah, there's been a lot of Sega news recently. Uh, Sega is doing so badly, they laid off a bunch of their employees. They, uh... It seems they're going down the route of not really making as many games, and uh, that's uh, very, very interesting to me. Like Yakuza game, the Yakuza games are doing worse and worse. Oops. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta talk about Sega. Um, yeah, I'll have to do some research into what's going on with that. I want to see who's been fired and things like that. Oh, I'm sorry. Volun asked to voluntarily retire. They don't want to fire people, but they're uh, they're asking you to they're asking people to retire. Um. I wait for you. Which I would think in a heartbeat. I don't I don't want to work for Sega. Like if they asked me to voluntarily retire, like yeah, I would go. Fuck you, Sega. I don't I don't need you. <laughs> Just like I don't need you on my console. What? What Sega games are on Switch, by the way? Like, have they put out nothing? Like, Sonic Mania, and I think that's it? Like, damn. No wonder they're dying. Oh, wait. Wait, wait is this the, uh... Is that the Dragon Ball? What is this flashing light? Oh, that's the bar, yeah. I don't think I found all the lo lo uh, Lava Cove balls, either. Huh? Yeah, I don't know what the deal with this guy is. You this Russian guy. Keep practicing. Yeah, I gotta get the seven lo Lava Cove balls. Yeah, 
the manual for this game was kind of interesting because I feel like it was one of the last manuals that tried to like suggest things that weren't really prevalent in the actual game. Um, I it said stuff about like Lavakov. It had things on Naomi. It was really interesting stuff. Hello, hello. Um, love the manual for this actually. Um, yeah, game manual used to be used to be awesome, but. Now they're uh, now they're kind of obsolete, but uh, there were some good ones even into the mid two thousands. I'm shocked I even had a manual for those, honestly, considering I bought the game used. So many times, like GameStop won't have the. Uh, if I knew I knew there was one there, so many times GameStop won't have the uh, the manual. I don't know what it is, but like my local game store always has the manual. But GameStop does not. Like, game, does GameStop, like, fuck with the manuals? Because we know what they fuck with the games. Like, you know they have, like, a bunch of shit they aren't selling people. It's like... Ugh. Like, GameStop really should have gotten to the used game scene. Like, they, they could have kept, like, prices down for, like, used games by just offering, like... Yeah, we're going to um, distribute them on our website. We're going to be, like, the number one retailer for used games on the internet will send you like a copy of Mario Kart Double Dash. Like we don't we don't we might not keep it in the store, but you can buy it from our website and have it shipped to you. Like no, instead they just throw shit out. Because they don't they don't want like people playing old shit. They want you to like turn in brand new games, right? Return games like the weekend after you play them and then resell them for a profit. Which is not gonna be practical in the age of Xbox Game Pass. Ooh, I'm really looking forward to that. Um I'm really, really looking forward to the uh, the death of GameStop. So yeah, GameStop dying, Game uh, Sega dying, Xbox dying. Well, the Xbox console dying. I think Game Pass is here to stay. Um, well, maybe. How practical is Game is uh, is Game Pass going to be? Because I feel like companies are just uh, throwing everything at it, and it's still not all that popular. I um, I'll probably be playing a uh, Jedi Fallen Order when it comes out. Wait. Is the pink? No, that's not right. Does the did the ball show up on the map? Uh, I hate this fucking map. I can never make sense of it. Uh, yeah, I'll have to look at it. I'll probably have to look at a guide or something. Probably off stream. I guess I don't need the balls right away. The main reason I need them, I think, is for Henry. Because I think, like, this is how you learn uh, the Dark Step ability, which is uh, really, really useful for dealing with Henry, uh, as I recall. Uh, let me see. You may as well stop at Be Beefhead videos. This guy who gets killed in a fucking No More Heroes 2, uh, our good friend Bishop. Travis, you couldn't have come over at a better time, huh? You're not going to believe your eyes. The kingdom of bootlegs. Wait, what? Was Mike mentioned? Is that a Star Wars poster? Did I just see? Did I just see fucking Anakin staring at me? I don't think I've ever seen that before. Okay, so I, I, did they change some dialogue in this version? Because I don't think Mike was mentioned in the original. But then again, I don't normally go to Beefhead, so. Uh, that might have something to do with it. Oh, here we go. Let's, uh, okay, go back to the assassination, uh, association. The, uh, the assassination a agency. Yes, yeah, yeah, so I think with Xbox, the main appeal for Game Pass for me is that it gets me access to games that, like, companies refuse to put on Nintendo consoles. So, like, I don't need to buy Yakuza. I don't need to buy Ace Combat 7. I don't need to buy, like, uh, Nier Automata. Like, I can just download them on a Game Pass and uh, decide whether or, not I, whether or not I like them. And for the most part, I don't. Uh, um, Yakuza, <laughs> it's weird. Like, playing Yakuza, like... There are times where I really, really enjoy it, and then there are other times where I'm just like, this is kind of retarded. Like, um, it, it's remarkable how uh, repetitive they are, how uh, boring they can be. It's just... Uh, the stories aren't very good. 
I, I am. Um, for the most part, like, I, I think Yakuza 5 is uh, alright, except maybe for the ending, but... And maybe some of, the, like, the characters... You don't end up minding very much in Yakuza 5, because, like, they're... Um, I think... I think the multiple protagonist angle did a lot for the series, but uh, when it's just one character and they'd have to drag it out for like 15 hours, it it gets really, really boring. Oh, hey, this is where I fought Shinobu. Let's kill some more high schoolers. Uh, okay. Okay, that should do it. Hopefully that's enough, uh, it gets us enough money to, uh, to continue with the game. Oh no, I have to do that again? Ugh. Should I even stream this? Because it's like, wow. I really wish I had uh, been able to do a new game plus. I really wish I hadn't... I really did not think this game would be ported. Like, I thought Suda, like, it would be, like, um, expensive to do. Like, Suda actually went out and did it. Like, he didn't do, like, the shit that, like, um, most companies do. Because I kind of expecting him... We need to get this out of the way. Like, Suda is better than most developers. Like, straight up better about it. Like, uh, most developers will tell you, like, oh, ask for a game. You need to ask for a game on Nintendo Switch. And then, like, never deliver on it. Like, they don't ever intend to make it happen because it goes against their interest, but, like, Suda will, like, ask, and then if people, like, make it clear they want the, uh, the Switch version, like, uh, he'll put it out, and it works for him. Um, it's just, ugh. Well, it would work for anyone, that's the thing. Um. Hello, Robin. Like, this narrative that companies have that, like, certain games won't do well on Switch is just, is just laughable. Like, straight up laughable. Um, I think the narrative right now is that, like, uh, the Switch sales are going to die off once the new consoles come out, which is just uh, hilarious to me. That That's not going to happen. Um, it's going to stay very popular up until, like, the next Nintendo console comes out, um, which, uh, again, probably 2023, 2024, like, in the next couple of years, but um, it's going to be a while. And I do think it's going to outsell the Wii. I do think it's going to outsell the PS4. Definitely outsell the PS4. And uh, I would hope it stays around long enough to outsell the PS2. But, like, uh, I think the Wii could have outsold the PS2 if, like, Nintendo had, um... Had not decided to put out a new console. Like, if they had kept releasing new games for Wii, I think they would have been able to, to crack PS2 sales. Hopefully, uh... Nintendo seems in intent on, like, releasing a console every five or six years, like, no matter what, uh, which I guess kind of makes sense, because they do need to, like, get people upgrading, but... Two, one, zero. Yeah, I, I, gotta, I gotta talk, I gotta talk more about, like, consoles again. I, I know I say I don't want to do it anymore, that, that's not really true, is it? Like, I keep coming back to it, like, I keep seeing people, like, spout stupid bullshit at me, like, uh... You know, the Switch is a failure. Like, well, the Switch sales are going to taper off eventually. Things like that. Um, oof. Damn. 
Ah, oh, damn, I'm so strong. Just... These guys aren't very... Did I level up or something? I guess I'm, like, cutting right through these guys. All right. Bam. Got him. There's so many Switch games out in the market right now. I have a trouble. I have trouble keeping up with all of them. Uh, to be fair, though, I, I I really do think I'm at the point now where I'd rather. I have so many games anyway that like uh, I I don't think I really need to buy new games for Switch. I, I legit have like uh, let's see about ten sitting right in front of me that I really need to get through. Uh, Dragon Ball Fighter Z, I think. I could technically play Dragon Ball Fighter Z forever. I expect it to be like one of my most played Switch games when all thing when all said and done. I expect it to be uh, played more than Breath of the Wild, actually. Uh, if only because I haven't played Breath of the Wild much at all since I beat it. Um, and I, I guess that's typical for fighting games. If you get really, really into them, they'll, they'll be like one of your most played games ever. Uh, here we go. Because there's such a high skill ceiling. Oh, wait, wait. Let's drop off the money. <sighs> mm. Why am I tired already? I keep getting tired for seemingly no reason. Alright. Uh, I gotta stay up today, so I'm definitely gonna... You know what? <sighs> I do need to write. I don't think I've written all that much this weekend, so I gotta, I gotta get, I gotta get back to rabbit hole, man. I gotta get that done. It should be done by the end of the month, but we'll see. Uh, I mean, if I keep like lollygagging about it, like I'm already like thinking. I, I spent like last night thinking about my next project. I was thinking of like returning to. Uh, to, like, something I had planned out, like, an entire year ago that I was really anxious to work on. Um, I'll go through my outlines and pick what I want, and I'm not really sure. Here we go. Rabbit, can you hear me? It's crazy over here. No time to explain. I'll send details over snail mail. Gotta run! What the hell's going on over there? Jeez. Don't leave me hanging on What is this... What? I have no idea what this is supposed to mean. It just kind of happens. Is it a fight against more other assassins? It's like, why is she in the middle of a war zone anyway? Uh, TV. Oh, this is the trailer, the original trailer. The title is Mask the Panther, the Tiger's Roar. All right, so now we know uh, more wrestling moves. All right. Let's get going. Put your life on the line. Put your life on the line, Travis. All right. So, so, like, I'd say it takes about an hour to get through, like, each boss. Uh, which is kind of tedious. Like, like going through the motions of, like, getting all the money and then going to the boss. It works because, like, it makes you uh, build up anticipation as to what the next boss is going to be like. Um, I'm, I'm surprised at how much I'm enjoying this. Like, this doesn't... I'll complain about it being tedious, but it's not really tedious. If it was really awful, I would just switch to the Wii version and just, uh, just skip it entirely. Uh, but no... I, I am going to go through it again for the second time this year. Um, I think when I first played this, I think I elected not to... I legit thought I would never, ever play the uh, the game ever... Um, the game properly ever again. I would just upload, like, new game pluses, but no. Love Destroy Man. Love, love, love him. Uh, okay, so we have to go to the movie studio. 
There's never anyone around. Like, what is with Santa Destroy? It's like, it's like this, this is taking place during the 2020 election. Like, there's nobody around. This shit, it's a, the pandemic, man. It's invested my video games. Um... Yeah, we have the subway, and then we have the uh, the actual studios. Here we go. Bam. I'm really excited about playing No More Heroes 2 on normal, as opposed to like the uh, playing it on the easiest difficulty like I did last time. Uh, I'm wondering if it's going to be a, a bit better um, on a higher difficulty, because I, I didn't enjoy No More Heroes 2 at all on my second playthrough. I think doing it on normal might actually make me uh, like it a bit more, but we'll see. Like, I wouldn't recommend playing on Sweet to, like, anyone. Like, the game is easy enough. You don't need to make it even easier. What? I didn't, I didn't hold the button. Why'd that happen? Well, anyway. I'll kick you in the nuts? <laughs> what kind of threat is that? Like, oh man. I'm gonna kick you in the nuts. All right. <sighs> I'm not sure how long I'm gonna get. I'm gonna be able to game. I'm just ugh. yawning already. Are you serious? Ugh. Let's fight some destroy man. Uh... Oh, did I miss the treasure chest? Oh, I walked right past it. Oh no, the poor treasure chest. Oh no, I'll never be able to open it ever again. Bear hug uh, film studio. All right. Uh. All right. Here are the guys. All right. Let's get through here. They film movies here. It's... Okay. Got him. Suplex. Misbleed. I swear the combat in this game never gets old. It really shouldn't be it should be repetitive, but it really isn't. Uh, Wait, what is getting what is getting sevens do? Oops, hang on. I don't think I've ever gotten a seven. Oops. It's like three sevens, right? Doesn't it? Oops, hang on, shit. Fucking guns. Ah, uh, he'll never be able to shoot me down here. You're 
Trading card number 20. Awesome. I don't think I really need these trading cards. I don't think they really do anything. They're, the ones with the assassins on them are kind of interesting because they kind of like give... They give real names and ages to the other uh, characters. I'm kind of interested... Did, did I ever show off like the, uh, the bad girl one? Does it actually confirm her first name is Charlotte, like it like it is in Travel Trucks again? I believe it does, but uh, I don't. I don't quite remember. I don't really. Uh, I haven't really been uh, doing a lot of research with like the uh, the connections between uh, this and Travis Strikes Again uh, in that context. Like it's difficult for me to do because I just don't have time. Oops. Uh, okay. <sighs> Compared to uh, Shinobu, Destroy Man should be pretty easy, so... Uh... Unless it's the other side. Yeah. Oh. <sighs> this guy up here just waiting. Why are they all wear wearing paper bags? Oh, no. Oh, is that all of them? Or did I miss one? Oh, maybe there's one on the stairs down here. Oh, no, there's more of them down, downstairs now. Uh, how'd that happen? Ooh. Ooh. Do you think I'm going to watch some anime tonight? More Epo sounds wonderful. Um, love, love, love Epo. I've already talked a lot about Epo. Man, uh, season one is so good. If you haven't seen season one, uh, go and watch it. Um, it's on YouTube for free. Uh, legit one of my all-time favorites. At this point in time. Like, I, I gotta rewatch Yu Yu Hakusho because I think it's been so long since I've seen it, like five years. Um, I don't remember how good, like, the. Uh, I don't really remember how good, like, the original run actually is. Like, the first 60 episodes. Like, up until the end of the Dark Tournament, like, yeah. Uh, like, I've always said that was the that was the good half of Yu Yu Hakusho, but, like, uh, I kind of. I don't want to say I don't remember what happens in it, but I don't really, uh, I don't think about how great it is. Like, I don't, I don't have it, like, memorized or anything like that. I don't, like, obsess over it. And I think, like, I think I'm, like, moving on to other things as a result. But, like, I would go back and watch it again. I do think I'm due for a rewatch, to be honest with you. Uh, it is on my, like, it is on my Funimation list, uh, so we are going to... I am going to do it eventually. Maybe I'll do, like, an episode-by-episode, episode, like, review series of it. Like, I mean, I'll watch an episode and then, like, talk about it. <sighs> okay. Oh, 
<sighs> Again? I don't remember that voice clip at all. From, I don't remember anyone saying that in the, in the original release. I'll kick you in the nuts. You would think I would remember that, but no. Uh, Again? Wow. That's almost as bad as like my spleen. Alright, here we go. Ah, here we go. Here's Sylvia. Oh, alright, we're almost at the fight. Oh. Your next rank button is at the <sighs> Yes, I did hear. I was about to say that was really good, surprisingly really good advice, Sylvia. This is why third rates like you are hopeless. I am 120% certain you are going to die. All you can do is trust your force and head for the garden of madness. <laughs> The Garden of Madness was like one of my fa That is like one of those weirdly profound things I just love about this game. It doesn't really mean anything, but like, it's so iconic to this fucking game. I, I just... Ugh. I'm so angry that No More Heroes 2 has no mention of it. Like, the, one of the big reasons I suspect like No More Heroes 3 will be legit is because they're, they're using it again. So I am uh, really, really hyped for that. Um... The German suplex. Okay, let's listen to this cutscene. This is actually a pretty good cutscene. The fight itself isn't great, but the cutscene is phenomenal. <laughs> I thought I wouldn't make it here on time. Had to take care of some customers that filed complaints. My apologies. Uh oh. Uh uh. Were people coming after you for faking the ballots? These Nonsense complaints. They think they can just say anything. It's crazy. But anyway, I'm here. I made it on time. That's the important thing, right? I take it you're Mr. Eight? You? You're ranked? Not me. Well, actually, it is me. Oh, that makes sense. Never mind then. You've got a job to do. But first, I need some time to get ready. Would you mind turning the other way? I need some privacy. Privacy? Yes. I need to prepare. Whatever. Don't mind me. Pretend I'm not even here. I just need you to look the other way for a second. A second? Yes, just a split second. I don't think it's too much to ask, do you? Then we can get on with our fight? That is correct. All right. Oh, <laughs> no. Oh, no. Whoa! That was close. For a second there, I forgot that you were a killer. Sorry if I scared you. I didn't mean to do that. Something's wrong with me today. He's such so two-faced. Guard down. Getting sloppy. I gotta stay on my toes. You mind if I ask you something? Yeah. What is it, Mr. Cosplay? We're both assassins, right? Why do we have to kill each other anyway? If you ask me, it's absolutely meaningless. It's about determining who's best. That's what it's about. Can't argue with that. Well then, let's get started. What? You want to shake hands? We're both fighters, aren't we? Not killers, at least for now. This is a sign of sportsmanship, that we respect each other before and after the fight. Good luck. Likewise. Destroy Spark. <laughs> what the asshole? Oh. <laughs> what? <laughs> I 
<laughs> oh, this is great. Is this guy an idiot or what? <laughs> is this a joke? You fell for the oldest trick in the book. Oh, man, you are something. Oh, this is the best. Man, you really cracked me up. <laughs> I think this laughter's gonna kill me. <laughs> Seriously, I think I might really die. Hello, laughter. hello. It hurts. Someone help. <laughs> oh, God. I love this cutscene so much. It's so good. Oh, shit. I thought I was going to die there. For real. <laughs> and look at you. You look like you're dead. I guess it's time for a wake-up call. Destroy cow! Destroy team! This is where it gets good. God, no. Destroy... Destroy... Uh... Admit you've got potential. If challenge had a taste, you'd be quite delicious. Fight for the seventh? Yeah, sure. Bring it on. I love a challenge. You're as good as dead. <laughs> All right. Oh, wait a minute. Was that a? Uh. Okay. Here we go. See, yeah, Destroy Man is not uh, the, one of the harder bosses. He's pretty straightforward, but uh, I, I really do like this fight. Uh, mostly the build up to it. Uh, I would say that's the big standout thing of this fight. Maybe the ending. I mean, it's considerably easier than both Shinobu and Holly Summers. Um, here we go. Was that, was that, was that a Hadouken? There's so many attacks where he just leaves himself wide open. It's uh, it's not all that hard to avoid him. Here we go. Here we go. That is a Hadouken. Oh, got him. I don't think I've ever lost this guy in my entire life. Like I've lost to Shinobu several times. Uh, bad girl a couple of times. Uh, Yeah, I think it's Shinobu and Bad Girl who normally get in trouble. Maybe Harvey as well. I, I don't. I don't. Maybe not. But I think I have lost to him a couple of times. Uh, Oh, that was cheap. All right, uh, hang on. I right, get up, get up, get up. Round one. Yeah, let's finish this. Oops. Oops. Got him. Oh well shit. Yeah, I should have I should have wrestled him. So many of his moves lead lead himself wide open. There we go. There we go. Oh, wow, really? Shit. I should have easily been able to avoid that. Uh... Oh, what? No, shit! You idiot! 
You got caught on the furniture! Ugh. Okay. Okay. Wow. They gotta be really careful. They destroy Buster. Yeah, I keep getting caught on the fr on the environment. All right, all right. Wow. Yeah, I kept getting caught on things. Like, what was what was the deal with that? Okay. Yeah, I don't remember this film equipment being here. Yeah, I really shouldn't have lost there. Uh... Okay, uh... And now he's going out. Let's do that again. Stay locked on, all right, idiot. All right. You didn't even hit me. Why were you taunting about it? Right. Okay. Got him. All right. I should do a significant amount of damage. All right, we got him. Like I said, it's an easy fight. Uh... I think I'm fighting the environment more than him. Shit, I keep running into these things. Dude. I need to move a certain way and can't do it. Like, okay. Yeah, I think that's all I can manage today. I am so tired. <sighs> Don't cry like that. You're a killer, aren't you? Help. What? Help. I can't hear you. Help me. What is this I hear from a seventh ranked killer? A killer yeah. seven? It's over uh. anyway. Please help me. 
<laughs> oh no! Oh no! How did he survive that? I, I, I don't understand how he comes back in No More Heroes 2, but anyway. Oh, and this ending cutscene is great for Travis and Sylvia's... Uh, Establishing their relationship further. All right, here we go. Travis, I'm starting to think that you may be for real. You are now doubled in rank. Hey, when I hit number one, you better be looking your best. No need to pretty up. I want you to see me for who I really am. Serious? Damn. Love that cutscene. Love it. Uh, it really makes you think that like some shit is about to go down um, when you finally do make it to number one. All right. All right, so uh, be sure to check out blackcatbooks.org, and I will see you all next time, uh, once I save the game. All right, be sure to check out...